All right, it's the day after my uh, crash on the bicycle yesterday, and uh, I'm pretty sore today. I uh, almost can't use either one of my hands. I can just barely grip things with my right hand. Can't put too much weight on them. Don't think anything is broken. I can. I. I, I think I have full range of mobility. They're just really swollen up, so they soar, and all of that. My shoulder, my left shoulder, is very sore. Also, um, I can grip things with my left hand a little bit. My, my pinky doesn't bend very well, but uh, but I can grip things. The only problem is my left shoulder is sore t this morning. I kind of started getting sore last night, and so now I'm having a hard time moving my left shoulder around, so uh, I'm pretty pretty crippled up right now. But um, I watched a, a short um, GCN show on how to check your bike after a, a crash, and so I'm going to take some time with that uh, this morning and thought I would just go ahead and show a video of it while I'm doing it Well, I'll start out with My gloves and my helmet and uh, I've already kind of done this so with my gloves already so my my left glove My left glove doesn't look like there's any problems with it um, Although I, I'm not sure sure my left hand. I don't know if you can see the swelling in my hand or not Can't really close it or bend it too well my right glove does have some damage to it. Um, I can wear it if I want to, but I'm kind of the, the sort that I probably replace these pretty quickly. I can see my finger coming through the hole there and then that tear there. My helmet, I hit, my head hit the ground right about where my um, mirror is at. It didn't break my mirror. Um, I see now today there's just a slight amount of damage to the plastic right there. Um, where that is, it kind of pushed that in into the styrofoam. Doesn't look like the styrofoam's cracked. No, is there any cracks down here? Doesn't look like. Doesn't look like any of this is cracked. I think that's okay. The rest of the helmet is just like it was. This is not an expensive helmet anyway. It's a Schwinn. Um, I bought it Kmart. Probably $20 helmet, so that's probably not much of anything. Go to the bicycle now. And so GCN's just checked to make sure everything spins right. And all of that. Check my brakes. Everything up in here looks okay. I kind of hit, you can see where it damaged this little grip. And that's something that's probably not, I mean, I could probably live with that. I'm, I don't know yet if I will. I might choose to replace my grips just because of that. Um, no damage. I see everything's turning fine. When I crashed, it knocked the light off, but the light works and all that. It light went flying across the road. Uh, that came out as well. I think you can see the, the pedals I have. I'm pretty sure my knee got driven into one of these pedals, into this pedal, because my knee has a gash in it, about the shape of this pedal right here, <laughs> about that kind of shape. So that's kind of what it looks like it there. Uh, let's see back wheel. Everything's spinning. I kind of know this is going to be that way because uh, gonna, I'm sure this will all work because I was um, able to ride home. No, this thing doesn't look like it's... None of this looks bent at all. None of this looks like it's injured. Oh, the seat. So I do have a tear in the seat. And while it's not a bad one, um, I will... I'll replace the seat and it's a matter of whether I choose to if I decide I want to try to go with a better quality or not I, I doubt it this seat is comfortable and it's working well for me so if I am able to do it what I'll do is just try to replace it with the exact same seat is what I'll try to do this side of the bike wasn't it was kind of on the top side everything worked out okay with that um, 
I've already checked. One of the things it says to do is to check and make sure that you, all the gears are working, or especially that the derailleur isn't uh, crashed into. Um, I don't think it is. Anyway, I'm hearing sounds. Of Here's something I, I didn't know would be would happen. I can't, can't do this that way, can I? So with this hand, I can't push that. So that probably means I'm not going to be able to ride until I get some kind of strength or, or uh, because I can't I can't work that lever with my thumb like it is. But I think the bike is okay. I think everything's all right on the bicycle. Okay, so I've got the bicycle back. Uh, inside the garage now and uh, back on the rack where I keep it here in the garage um, doesn't look like it's in too bad of uh, shape I actually won't be riding it I, I wouldn't intend to ride it for a few days anyway today would have been a weights day I would have been lifting weights but um, I'm pretty sure that I can't do that um, and wouldn't be riding today normally anyway um, I, I as you saw I don't think I could work my uh, shifter on my with my right hand uh, right now I'm gonna, tomorrow and Sunday are busy days for me. I usually uh, am not able to go for rides on those days anyway. Uh, and then Monday and Tuesday, I'm gonna be uh, uh, preaching out of town, so I, can't, I won't be riding on those days. So um, hopefully by, and uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, traveling home Wednesday, so hopefully by uh, Thursday, I'll be in a place where, uh, be in a position where I can start riding again um, and give it a shot. Uh, by the way, um, as of the finish of yesterday's ride, uh, crash included, uh, this bicycle, my Cirrus, my specialized Cirrus Sport disc now has uh, 4,199 miles on it. I want to thank you all for watching my videos. <laughs> I know they're not very professionally done, but I do appreciate that you watch them and comment. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun to me.